Hey guys, welcome back. Today we got a pretty special video. It's a watch, vintage watches by Dan Henry. So I've been wanting to get a pretty nice watch that, you know, would not lose its style over time. And uh, yeah, so I decided to go with the Dan Henry. This is the 1939 vintage. Unfortunately, Amazon doesn't have them in stock anymore. These are limited production, so they might be sold out. I'm not sure. But look into this if you don't know yet, Dan Henry. They make pretty awesome watches. They have a bunch of other designs. Anyways, let's get to opening this one. I'm pretty excited about it. I looked around, looked around for a while for a watch. And this is what I landed on. Alright, so a pretty interesting box here. It's got like this texture to it. Pretty cool. It's a little bit dirty on top. But that's okay. Let's see. Oh, there's a little Dan Henry here. I'm guessing it unscrews. Yes, it does. Right, let's uh, take a look at it here. Okay, so it just pops right out. Well, there are some teeth that hold it, it seems like. Okay, yeah, it does like so You turn it and you pull it out. Alright, so it looks like it comes in this little bag here. Hmm, that's untraditional. Pretty nice. Definitely feels old school. Alright, well this is a pretty good experience so far. Okay, it looks like we got some kind of moisture packets here. And a few more. Just to keep the moisture away. Okay, so there is a Dan Henry here. And look at that. Pretty cool. Alright, so the, the presentation is pretty impressive so far. I'm really digging this whole old school look of this bag. So Let's see, let's check out the car here. So, some kind of international warranty. Not filled out for some reason. Guess you gotta fill it out yourself. In any case. Alright, let's pop the watch out. Ooh, looking sharp. It definitely feels vintage. Like it's brand new, but it, it's got a vintage feel to it. The way the metal is. Okay, I'm going to peel off this protector on top. Wow, that glass is great. It's got a, like a purple hue to it. I guess it's the... Uh, Sapphire glass, maybe, or some kind of coating. Anyways, looks awesome. Look at that detail, guys. It's a little dusty around it. Hopefully, it's not dusty inside of it. Oh, wow, the back looks pretty awesome, too. Love that back. Looks great. Look at the dials here. It's pretty excellent quality. There's it looks like a little piece of plastic wedged in that the middle dot there. I love the DH on the uh on there that looks great too and it's not huge it's 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 medium it's very elegant I would say now this strap here I don't know about that it's Italian leather hmm it looks alright it doesn't feel all that great I mean it, it's got a little bit of softness to it but it's it seems a little stiff to be honest and it's making squeaky sounds well, that's okay, I guess it needs to wear in maybe. So as you can see guys, pretty good attention to quality to details here. Stainless steel. It says Dan Henry on the back. Italian leather. Let's see what model number I got, or should I say not model number but the uh, production number. 
So here we got Dan Henry. And there we got 1939 limited edition. All right, and check out our number, guys. Wow, we actually got a pretty good one. We got 550 out of 1939. Wow, that's pretty cool. And a bunch of other calculations you can do. I'm not sure what all that is. All right, guys, so, so far I'm really impressed with this thing. I love the uh, profile. It's just right in every, seems like in every way, so definitely looks vintage. I just want to note that the attention to detail on this watch is, is amazing. Like, this is a pretty, you know, busy watch, and it's perfect inside, so. All right, guys, so I want to pull this out, see if it'll start running or not. It's a little clip there. So I'm guessing I just push it in. Okay, something's working. That little one started going. Push this button on top and the second, the big hand on the second started going around. So I'm not sure if that's just a secondary one or what or what mode I'm in. I'm going to have to figure that out. But in any case, it's moving. And it looks beautiful. All right, so I want to put it on my hand and see what it looks like. So the watch is pretty good. I'm not sure if I'm too tight. No, I'm pretty good. The belt is a little bit stiff, honestly. I wonder if that'll break in over time. Like it get softer and more flexible. Yeah. My wrist is pretty small. So this is actually pretty much perfect on it. So you can see, pretty good. Not bad at all. Feels great. It's not heavy. Seems like pretty. it would be pretty easy to live with it. So, Actually, let's walk outside and see how this looks like. Alright, I don't know if you can see, but it definitely looks better outside. In the daylight, you can definitely see a lot more. The uh, gold is definitely more pronounced outdoors. So, I don't know. It looks great. I love it. Excellent watch. Thumbs up for this thing. All right, guys. So let's not forget about the uh, NATO strap. Uh, that looks pretty awesome. So I guess you can flavor up the look a little bit here. I mean, this strap's all right, but yeah, it would be fun to put different straps on here. Maybe even metal ones to uh, see what this thing could really look like. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty nice. So if you want to, if you want to watch, that's pretty darn nice but you don't want to break the bank, I would definitely look into Den Henry. They seem to be like a good company, so. Now the only downfall to this whole thing is um, they are made in China, so. You know, that's not technically a bad thing. You know, a lot of things are made in China these days. Hopefully, you know, their quality control is good. As long as their quality control is good, I'm sure it'll be a great product and it'll last forever. So. Um, this is a quartz watch, so it just runs on battery. So it's nothing too fancy, but it should be very reliable, and that's the whole point of it. Pretty happy with it overall, and uh, if you want to check out this watch and other Den Henry watches, I'll leave a link in the description. If you still want to watch like this, hopefully you can find one. For some reason, Amazon went out of stock, and uh, I am at 550, so I don't know if this is just random or they... But in any case, guys, so this is the Dan Henry. Uh, 1939 the black edition they do have a white one too I forgot to mention that in the beginning but they do have a white one which looks amazing too so I went with the black one because I like this look better the dark theme and the red really uh, pops here so really loving that so. alright guys well thanks for watching this video if you liked it hit the thumbs up subscribe to see more stuff I do a lot of reviews and stuff on this channel alright I'll see you on the next one peace